give me the card. No, no, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. All right. Hello there. I am Scarecrow J, and we are back again with some more SCP containment breach. Uh, if I remember correctly, we should be in this crazy, yeah, crazy space. Mr. Floaty Man. That's perfectly, perfectly normal stuff here in SCP containment breach. <laughs> Just doing a little dance, a periwet in the in air. Very. Very dainty and all that. Let's get out of here before I lose my fucking mind. Light testing chamber. I have a key card. Go ahead and close this. I'm always concerned I'm gonna like lock myself in with something that I shouldn't. Oh god, oh god, get me the fuck out of here, please. <laughs> that wasn't cool. Fuck, I didn't see if there was anything in there, because I got jumped on right as I fucking... <laughs> oh god. Let's, uh... Go the other way. <laughs> that was fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did not want to start off the game like that. Can I just... Gonna read. Oh fuck! I have to go this way. Okay. Um. Although, what's this way? Did I ever go to the side? All oh, right. It's just. I don't think there is a this way. It's just gonna. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. What the fuck do I do about this? Uh, let's save. Real quick. Okay. Let's. Let's just see. Back up, blink. It broke through the glass. Okay, hold on. Let me. <laughs> I need you to not be by the door, buddy, old pal. That's a fucked up face, not gonna lie. Okay, I guess we're not going in there. <laughs> I'll come back in a bit. I don't know if that's like a higher end key card. It looked exactly the same, but I figure if I get, I have to have a key card to get in there, it's gonna be a higher level than the one I have, right? Oh no, still there. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Okay, another fucked up elevator. Dead guy. Unsolid gym. Wonder what kind of I guess he's just a regular personnel because he doesn't have a, a jumpsuit like the guys at the beginning. I'm just kind of scout scouting this out real quick. Okay, there's two two rooms here. Four different SCPs. Oh God. Level three, yeah, see, I need a higher level. That sucks. Okay, I'm going to, um, let me look what's in this door. Okay, fuck all, it's just another series of, series of doors. We're gonna go back and hopefully maybe he despawned or something. I, I don't know how this game works with that kind of thing, so. We're just gonna see if he's gone now. Did I check this? Oh, fuck me, of course. Okay, that's, uh, that's feces, man. Yeah, feces in the ground, man. Fuck, I... Oh, okay. Uh, 
That's not. That's not fair. He fucking came up behind me. He just nothing personal, kid. Me like this is a fucking anime show. Oh. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, there should be a paper on the ground somewhere. Very hard to see until this effect wears off. Yeah, here we go. Okay, that's the, uh... Yeah, I, that's a code for something. Okay, I don't know how this works with, like, the pathways. No man's land. Oh. Back? This is a different place though. Did you just fucking teleport me? I'm also wobbling still. Hopefully that'll That's not fair. That's oh my god, I just quick saved. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh, oh no! This isn't fair! I think I just fucked myself. Okay, wait, no. I'm back I'm back here. That's just kind of, That's kind of fucked up, like... Odd. Okay, this looks like it's going somewhere. Oh, please don't be another one of those fucking, like... Oh god, it is. Oh, this is worse without the night vision. Last time I was in one of these, I had night vision so I could see. It sounds like I'm bleeding. Fuck. It's gonna suck to do. Okay. I don't know if I can make this while I'm hurt so bad. I'm like, actually, I think I'm actually taking like damage. That's doing something to me. Okay, next, uh... Keep going, just keep going. God. <laughs> this is his room, Keter. Sentient and violent. Key card, I probably, there's no ways. Yeah, level four. Fuck, I am bleeding. Oh god, I hope I'm not, like, gonna, I'm not actually gonna die. Level three, wait, what? Am I fucked? Oh, I'm actually, I think I'm dying. I can't see anything. Wait, okay, so how do I... I'm actually fucked. I I'm kind of just wasting time now. I'm pretty sure I'm absolutely fucked here. I'm stuck in between two doors I can't open, and um, there's just no way for me to, to get out here. Okay, well, I, I wanted to hear the rest of that, but I guess we'll just fucking pass out and die. <laughs> awesome. You died, didn't even tell me why. Okay, well, that sucks. I guess we're starting a new game, because if I load game, I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah. We're in the same zone, and this isn't going to randomize. Yeah. We're fucked. Okay, well, let me start up a new game, and then I'll cut to that. I guess we're doing a new seed. Whoops. That's just how this game is going to be with how randomized it is, I guess. Okay, so we're uh, we're back through the intro here. Uh, this is these are the two intro rooms that happen We're past that and this is where it kind of randomizes I think Use of cameras or video equipment is prohibited this room Like mr. Fucking BC's goo man is just coming through the fucking Four. Tesla gaze 
I'm gonna, yeah. Bye, lady. <laughs> okay, this is some bullshit. I don't even know how far this goes, but this is like, this is ridiculous how far this will kill me. There's somebody commented on one of the video that I died to this, like, I fucking was so far away, it still fried me. Let me save before I run through this. Okay, there we go. Oh god, another one? Maybe I should have scanned those first few rooms before I came here. Light testing chamber. Okay, this is this is the place. I think the shortest way out is through the southeast. Oh, rip. Follow me. Did you hear that? Oh, why did I close the door behind me? We're just gonna we're gonna let that play out. I think. Uh, We're gonna go back the other way. I don't want to deal with Mr. Snappy Man. We should be able to find like a key card on her. That would be handy. Okay, let's uh, see what these rooms have for me. Free pizza. Report all potential anomalies. I like how that is just a fucking moose in a trash can? Wait, what? Okay. I guess that's the thing you have to deal with here. Just mooses and trash cans randomly. Oh, this is the uh, repeating corridor. Let me, let me make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. You're beeping. Was that for a second? What is this? Oh yeah, yeah. We've already read this. That's the uh, thing. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recursive spatial phenomenon. You guys can actually like see the achievements now because I moved my camera. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. I remember there being. I remembered there being a key card there, so. That's handy. Uh, that's the level one, I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. So we don't need to go through that again. We saw that in the last episode where things just, um... That's new. A uh, music, music sheet? Og... Ognisho Hazard? I need to stop saving. I'm gonna... I can accidentally kill myself by doing that. Level three. Well, that's lame. I don't like how I can't see these goddamn SCPs. Why is this red? Why did that change like that? That was a weird lighting effect. Let's go back. Um, I want to try to get into that light, light. Uh, Whatever the light room was that needed a key card, because I, I think um, that key card should probably be a higher level than the one I have. The vent makes me so fucking nervous walking over that. Wonder if that's how the the, the fucking SCP gets gets through the snappy snappy neck man one seven three. He just goes through his vents because he uh. You can probably move freely through them, right? Okay, so this is the light testing room or whatever. Go ahead. That. Can we in here? I blinked at the really bad time there. Give me the card. No, no, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. I... I was trying to grab whatever the 
thing was, and I fucking double clicked and closed the door on myself. Oh. Fatal cervical fracture. Seem to be a, yeah, 173. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Okay, let's blink here. Open this. Right there. I just closed the fucking door instead of what I wanted to do. Level 2 key card, cool. Okay, we're good. Game progress saved. That's not a level 3, so I can't get into that music shoot sheet room. Also, he might also be here. Scared the shit out of me. I thought the door was opening behind me. Just make sure he's not in here. Okay, we're good, I think. I think. Um, we can drop some of these. I don't need, like, any of the sheets of paper. Well, actually... No. Okay, not that one. I want to, um... Uh, some of these have, like, things written on them. I want to just make, make sure this wasn't one of the sheets. Why can't I... Okay, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> just blinking over and over again. Okay, no. Th that doesn't have anything important on it. I wonder if I need my key, uh, level 1 key card. I might be able to drop that. Well, another one. What is this? Okay, I definitely don't need two. <laughs> um... That's SCP-1048. Whereabouts of... This is the teddy bear that I saw. The ninja vanished when I looked away from it. The whereabouts of SCP-1048 are currently unknown. Though it is still believed to be somewhere on site. Blinked out. Subject is to be secured for containment. But any creation of SCP-1048s could be destroyed on site. Unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions, no teddy bears are allowed in sight blank to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. SCP-1048 is a small teddy bear approximately 33 centimeters in height. Through testing, compo uh, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it disconcernable from a non-sapient teddy bear. Subject is capable of moving its on its, of its own accord and can communicate through a small range of gestures. The more anomalous behavior SP-1048 was not observed until approximately seven month, months after it was originally it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials for a process that has yet to be observed directly by the Foundation staff. Dr. Carver has suggested that SCP-1048 uses its Enduring qualities to blow those around it into a false sense of security, allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. Oh shit, so it'll probably steal stuff from you. There are currently there are three known creations of SCP-1048. Uh A, B, C. The nature of these creations has been has been in stark contrast to SCP-1048's general behavior, as all have exhibited extreme violence towards humans. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Another paper. Uh, on yada yada yada, SCP-1048-A was discovered wandering Site-24, accompanied by SCP-1048. Subject resembles a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, entirely made out of human ears. Dr. Carver, Carver was called to the scene, along with the security... Okay, I'll hurry up. Sorry, game. Um, security team. The security team arrived first and attempted to contain SCP with the A. A uh, subject emitted a high pitched shriek that inflicted intense pains in the eyes and ears of everyone in a 10 meter radius. Your like growths immediately began growing on those within 5 meters of the subject, covering their bodies in less than 20 seconds. Every person afflicted with the symptom died within 3 minutes, resulting in the death of blank personnel, including the entire security team. Autopsies revealed the death, uh, the cause of death to be asphyxiation caused by the abundance of ear-like growth manifesting in the mouths and trachea of all victims. 
uh, 1048 and A fled the scene before Dr. Carver arrived and have not been contained since the incident. Though sightings of both have been reporting on multiple occasions, shortly after this incident occurred, a researcher was discovered missing an ear. According to him, it was removed through unknown means while he was sleeping. No other victims of ear removal were found, so it is unclear if SCP-1048 obtained more ears from another source, or if it is capable of duplicating objects or materials. Okay, that's scary. So I need to watch out for that one. Can I... Ah, oh, okay, that's cool, so I can actually keep these. And then I can just... Okay. Can I do... Oh. That's cool. I can do that too. Well, here. If that's the case, we're going to be keeping these. Um, I guess I'll just have number two out. Because I figure that works as number one as well. I would hope. Give me all these. Now I'm just collecting stuff. I also... That. SNAV300 Navigator. Oh. Okay, so I have a map. That's kind of helpful. Although its range is kind of limited. Can I, like, zoom that out somehow? Probably not. Okay, well. Good to know, at least, that I have that. Alright, now that we're all settled and stuff, let's go ahead and save. Uh, probably nothing down there except death. I don't have a gas mask. Oh god, there's a vent there as well. I might be dead here. Oh, I do have a gas mask. I'm retarded. I just thought about it. I do have a gas mask. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Well, I was just I was just making it harder for myself, so I grew as a person, you know. Blood. Surveillance from... That doesn't look good. Go ahead and save here. Or so three. Okay. I never like the ambience, even though it's the same, like every time, it just always fucking scares the shit out of me. Euclid, 205. Wait, can I get this one? Fuck, I can't. I'm missing out all these fucking, all these things, because I don't have a key card, man. Disappointing. Uh, oh, never mind. 1162. In here? Hey! I don't like this at all. Did I close the door behind me? I did, okay. Why did that just happen? Did I do that? Okay, I, I don't trust this room, but I don't want to fucking... Okay. SCP-162 is currently contained in a standard 5x5x5 five by five by five meter chamber. SCP-1162 must be activated at least once weekly to prevent a containment breach. If it is not activated, it randomly shifts location. As detailed below, 1162 is, currently, a hole in the center block wall of containment chamber 4, measured approximately 14.5 centimeters across, and has a variable depth with changes um, based on the current user. User. A portion of center block is currently visible through the hole. However, um, no light source has been able to illuminate any purport, uh, portion of the interior beyond that. The hole always appears to be dark. 
Uh, SCP-1162 is activated when a sentient being reaches into the hole to the depth that the girth of their arm allows, at which point their fingers touch a solid surface similar in feel to the current location of SCP-1162 and they discover an item small enough to fit through the hole below their fingertips. These items have universally been recognized as something that the user has lost or has been searching for at some point during their life. However, upon retrieval of the item, another item will vanish from the person of the subject. In addition, any object placed into SCP-1162 will disappear as soon as it is no longer in contact with the person. SCP-1162 is not activated at least once every 168 hours. It will randomly shift location to another stone, concrete, or brick wall or floor within a radius not yet shown to exceed 2,000 kilometers. The previous hole remains, but uh, shows no anomal uh, abnormal properties. Hmm. Okay. Um, do I randomly lose an item, huh? That, um, I mean, I don't want all this at. I'm gonna cheat the system. East is the past. I lost my map. Okay, well, that thing sucked, anyways. That's fine. What is this? Origami? Okay, can I do it again? Is, is this just a randomizer? <laughs> Someone's credit card? What the fuck? What is that? I guess I could just get random shit from here, but I mean, I don't really need. Did I save before this? I hope I did. I don't know. Some of this, a lot of this, just seems like junk. If I'm being pretty, pretty honest. SCP-895. We haven't seen this one. Um. I do have to end the video, but I'm going to read this one first. Uh, SCP-895 is sealed closed, is sealed closed and stored in an isolated underground containment cell at the depth of approximately 100 meters. Of approximately 100 meters. <laughs> uh, no cameras, microphones, or other surveillance equipment may be brought within a 10 meters red zone radius of SCP-895 without express permission from at least two, uh, two level three personnel. SCP-895 is an ornate oak coffin recovered from blank mortuary by SCP personnel on yada yada. Following reports of unusual footage captured by surveillance equipment installed at that location, upon attempting to open SCP-895, agents on location found the object empty. However, observers viewing the live feed were data expunged. Until further notice, SCP must remain closed at all times. That's interesting, so if you look directly at it, you're fine, but if you look at it through a camera, you die or something? Huh. SCP-985 causes disruptions in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters, similar to vivid, disturbing hallucinations with variable duration and regularity corresponding to the camera's proximity to SCP-895. Within a range of 5 meters from SCP-895, footage captured can cause severe Psychological trauma and hysteria in most subjects. Okay, these disruptions do not extend to observers physically present within the area. That's scary. Okay, well if I go there, I better not look into any cameras, I guess. Um, let me see. Can I maybe get another paper? Probably not. I feel like I'm just gonna like randomly die by doing this. <laughs> A new one. Document. Since my repeated attempts to petition the termination of SCP-173 have not met, or... Oh, okay. This is just talking about someone wanting to kill that thing. <laughs> yeah, that didn't... That probably should have went into effect, because it certainly didn't work with 173. Okay. Anyways. Um, 
I'm, I'm not gonna I didn't really want to lose all my stuff like that I was just testing the object to see what would happen if I kept doing it I don't think any of these are important like what the fuck am I gonna do with a credit card I wonder if I can like buy something somewhere on the facility and then we have a, a playing card origami electronic components yeah I probably don't need half of that shit <laughs> to be honest okay yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a comment or like below. Uh, if you want more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe. I am going to continue playing this. I have to remember not to save right now. I'm just going to fucking hold my hands up so I don't lose all my shit. Uh, but yeah, once again, I'm Scarecrow J, and thanks for watching.